What is going on, everybody? Back with some more prize pick player props. It is Monday, which means we have some Monday night football tonight. Got four picks for this NFL slate. Hopefully, we can sweep the board. Yesterday, was it was an okay day. It wasn't awful. One of the two slips we played in our free picks, it ended up cashing for 1.5x, and the other ended up missing. So it was, the free picks weren't quite possible uh, profitable. They were very close. If you would have played $20 on both slips, you would have bet 40 and you would have won 30 So unfortunately, would have been a little bit of a loss. It wasn't horrible, but... uh. Uh, obviously, didn't uh, it wasn't the best day either. So hopefully, we can have a great day today. But got four picks for you guys. Like I said, if you guys have not signed up for our VIP, we have a bunch of other slips already posted in there. Our boy Skizo, we're gonna be have some hockey slips. We got some esports. We got all kinds of different plays. I'm telling you guys, head on over to Patreon, twenty five dollars a month. Sign up right now. You can get some free trials if you sign up through one of our apps. Two of our sponsored apps that we use right now that are actually giving more than just a month of VIP for free are Underdog and Parlay Play. So both of these will be giving us some. Uh, You'll be getting some little, a little bit of extra stuff. So, like, on Underdog, you will get a $500 deposit match. So, anything up to $500 that you put in, you will get a 100% match on that. So, you could possibly get $500 bucks for free. And then on Parlay Play, if you sign up and use our code on Parlay Play and deposit, you will get two months of VIP for free instead of one. That is the best offer we have on any platform right now. You can sign up for a Sleeper at the top of the screen. Use code ACES. And you can also get another month there as well as a deposit match. So those are some of our platforms. Obviously, any sports betting platform you can think of, we probably use it already. So uh, if you have any questions about that, just let me know. Anyway, if you do sign up with one of these platforms, let me know in the Discord, Ryan Fantasy Aces, or just let Fantasy Ace know in the Discord. Or you can drop a comment on the YouTube video, whichever one's easiest for you. But we will get you added in there. But let's go ahead and jump into our free picks for today. First free, free pick is going to be for our man Lamb. So I'm going to take a CD Lamb over the 22 and a half receiving yard in the first two receptions so first time we've ever played a play like this i like this play a lot so looking at our man lamb he's averaging over 13 yards per catch on the season plus they're playing against the chargers tonight guys the chargers give up over 300 passing yards per game so far and uh, i think that means dallas offense is going to be killing it tonight through the air i think they're going to get back on track i think dak and lamb are both going to have some really big games tonight really like this play and uh, I really like just the, the 22 and a half just seems way too low in my opinion for tonight. So I like this play a lot with our man Lamb. I don't think they offer this on underdog. I actually haven't even checked. So uh, underdog, yeah, they have 71 and a half receiving yards total. Honestly, I mean, I don't think that's a bad play either. But uh, I do like this first two receptions, the two, 22 and a half, because I think I think he's going to go way over that. He'll probably get that in his first catch if uh, – well, my fingers are crossed anyway, but uh, parlay play. I don't think they have anything special for a man lamb either. I wish this stupid know your location thing would get off my screen. All right, so lamb, CD lamb. They don't have, they just have 73 and a half receiving yards or sets receiving long. So your longest reception, 25 and a half. Uh, I like the 22 and a half for the first two better, considering his average. But uh, pull them up on outlier.bet over here, <clears throat> CD lamb. Let's see. They have 52% chance over the 25 and a half. I don't think they're going to have that uh, first two receptions. No, they have them over 71 and a half receiving yards, 53% chance, minus 125, under is 51% chance. So it's it's kind of whatever you want to play on this one. I like Lamb. I think he's going to have a great day, a great game tonight, and uh, I'm going to be locking him in. I just really like this play. I'm trying something a little bit different today with that first two receptions. We'll see how it goes for us. If you don't like to play, definitely fade it. I'm telling you guys. So uh, you don't have to play every single play I play. We do. Uh, post multiple plays for that reason you don't have to play the same slips but second play of the day is going to be for our man austin eckler going to be locking him in over the 49 and a half rushing yards so like the eckler play too this is the first slip that we played like i said you don't have to play them together because sometimes we do uh do match them wrong but anyway i do like this play a lot a lot as well he's returning from an ankle injury he's been sidelined for three weeks and honestly guys the chargers have missed him a lot He's a big player, and uh, he's practiced all week. No limitations so far. He doesn't have any type type of he doesn't have any type of restrictions for this game. And week one, he had 117 yards rushing, the only game he played. And then uh, Dallas defense averages over 122 rushing yards given up per game. So uh, I think 49 and a half is a little bit too low, especially for a healthy Eckler. So as long as he plays, no limitations tonight, which he's supposed to, I think he's going to smash this number. So I'm going to be locking him in over 49 and a half rushing yards. We'll go ahead and pull him up over here on underdog, see if they got him on here too. So if you get any better value, they got about 49 and a half as well on here. So uh, you can lock them in the same play on here if you prefer underdog. And then parlay play probably has them at like 100. We'll see. <clears throat> yeah, 53 and a half. So like, I like parlay play. 
especially if you're doing like League of Legends or CSGO, sometimes they're really good. And sometimes in NFL and stuff, you get better props. But some of these are just stupid, man. Why are they four yards higher? Like, that's literally almost 10% higher than the other platforms. Like, I just don't, I don't get it. Parlay play, you need to fix this. This should not be 53 and a half. That's just stupid. We can go under on, you might as well take under. If you're ever gonna take an under on one of these plays, you probably go check parlay play first because you might have a better chance taking under. You put this at freaking 55 and go under, and I mean, I think he's gonna, gonna get close to that anyway, so I don't think, I'm not taking him under tonight for sure, but uh, anyway, I do, uh, I like him over 49 and a half. Don't touch the 53 and a half, obviously. But anyway, Eckler, gonna pull him up over here. Over, where's it at? 49 and a half rushing yards, 52% chance, minus 128 Vandal, 125 DraftKings. So, anyway, pretty much average like everything else on here, but really like this play as well. Gonna be locking it in. Like I said, this is our first slip that we play. <clears throat> the next two plays will be on the second slip that we play. You are more than welcome to mix and match, run a four man if you want, totally up to you. But, second pick of the game is gonna be our. Third pick of the day is going to be for our man Cameron Dicker. Going to be taking him over 60 or 6.5 kicking points. Yeah, we're not going over 65 kicking points. I promise you that. But anyway, six and a half kicking points. So he's hit this in two of his uh, four games on the season. This game does have a 50 point total. And uh, I think both offenses are going to be able to move the ball pretty well. I do think that the Cowboys defense is going to be good enough to hold them to a couple of field goals. If they get a couple of field goals, he kicks a PAT, he's going to hit seven. So thank you. I think he's going to catch this number like this one for sure. And I'm uh, going to be locking him in over six and a half kicking points. Going to pull him up over here on uh, Underdog. See if they got him on here. Cameron Dicker, six and a half kicking points. <clears throat> Obviously, the same team can't play these two together. But. Uh, you do have the option to run them with other plays that you like. Parlay play problem has them has them at 15. We'll go and check that out too. Six and a half. Wow, they actually have the same as the other apps. So you could take them on parlay play as well if you want to run this with like a League of Legends player or CS:GO play. You could obviously do that, and I think this one's a pretty good play. I really like this one a lot actually. So let's go and pull up our man Dicker over here on Outlier.bet. <clears throat> See what he's at. Six and a half kicking points, 53% chance, minus 115, minus 119. So right at average. I, I honestly thought they were going to have this well over 6%. So that's just, uh, they actually have under one and a half field goals at 58%. So they think one field goal is going to be enough. I think he's going to kick two. I think he's going for two. And uh, I like the play. Obviously, if they, even if he kicks one field goal and then they score four touchdowns and he kicks a PAT, which that's a lot of points, but I think it's definitely possible he could he could cash it that way too. But uh, do like the play with our man Dicker over six and a half points, kicking points. And then last play of the day for our NFL slate, we're going to be taking our man Prescott, going to be taking our man Dak over the 17 fantasy score. I like this play a lot as well. So looking at the Chargers, like I said, they give up over 300 pa uh, passing yards per game. This number on other platforms, it's it's like two points higher this this play is so it's like 19 on other pla platforms i will check again here in a second <clears throat> make sure they haven't got bumped down but uh it's like 19 on other platforms i think him and Lamb, him and lamb are going to have great games tonight like i said and uh i think 17 in fantasy score is just a little bit too low so uh any just so you know <clears throat> for fantasy score you get one point for 25 yards passing one point for 10 yards rushing and then you get uh I didn't know what happened just there. Actually, it's kind of scared me. I thought, thought they took it off. Uh, you get four four points for a passing touchdown and then six points for a rushing touchdown. So I think he's going to catch this number. He uh, should should catch that number pretty easy, in my opinion. But uh, we're going to pull him up over here on underdog. They actually have him at 16.4 fantasy points on underdog right here. I'm telling you, he was two points higher earlier on uh, everything else. I don't understand what happened there, but 16.4, you do get better value over here on underdog. I'm, maybe it was sleeper that he was, he was at 19. Anyway, 16.4 on underdog. Very good value here. Like this is uh that's really, really low. I highly, I was, Kind of suggest you guys take it here at 0.65 is actually pretty good when you're when you're looking at a 17 the number's pretty low already you're taking almost a full point away or a little over half a point so I, I like that a lot on underdog so underdog did pretty good on this prop if uh you do have underdog or if you don't have underdog you sign up dicker and prescott right here that'd be a really good play in my opinion but uh we'll pull them up on parlay play i don't think ace checks parlay play as much for some of these props so i don't know what it's going to be on here they actually have them at 17 on here <laughs> 
So uh, you could go to 16 and a half if you took your daily under or whatever. But uh, anyway, 17, not bad. You can run this on Parlay Play as well. So there are just some chances, guys. If you haven't signed up one of these apps and you want two months of VIP, sign up for Parlay Play. You could run this slip, make you a little bit of cash. You can get your deposit match. Or on uh, Underdog, you could do the same thing. Shoot, you could run these, these, these in a three-man. I think all three of these players are going to cash. Obviously, I want to give them out. So uh, I think today's going to be one of those days for a sweep. I really do. I'm feeling it. So we'll go ahead and pull them up over here on, well, don't think they have fantasy score. I check this about every single video. I'm assuming they still haven't added it. They may not ever add it, but uh, fantasy score. No, they do not have fantasy score on here still. I don't know why I checked. But anyway, guys, those are our four plays for today. You got our man CeeDee Lamb over the 22 and a half receiving yards in the first two receptions. We got Eckler over 49 and a half rushing yards. We got Cameron Dicker over six and a half kicking points. And then we have our man Dak Prescott over 17 fantasy score or over 16.45 if you run him on underdog. That's my suggestion. I'm going to tell you, if he, if he ends up going 16.6, uh, I depend. I don't know. I'm not, I would go with 17. I'll say 17. Just forget what I was about to say there. Anyway, those are our four plays for today. Hopefully, we go four and out, four and zero today. That would be awesome to get a nice little sweep. Need a little bounce back from the last couple of days, even though uh, yesterday wasn't horrible. Saturday wasn't very good. Friday was a sweep. Usually, after a sweep, you will have a couple bad ones. That's just the way the way life works. Sometimes you have to have some uh, some lows with your highs. But anyway, guys, these are our four plays. Hopefully, we go four and zero. Let me know what your favorite play is today down in the comments. Let me know what you think about these, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.